Hey guys, this is Jeff and uh, my wife and I have traveled to 30 countries over eight and a half months and it took us um, such a long time to learn how to pack light and how to pack really well for long, longer term travel. So we're heading to, the, to Europe in the Middle East um, tomorrow and we're heading there for seven weeks and um, I wanted to tell you a way to travel really well, really light, so you can enjoy the bag that you have and pack everything that just works out for, perfect for you without having to overpack and, and make your life miserable. So let me start by talking about the, the, the bag that we, that we have. So we really like um, bags that open up like a duffel bag because it's so easy to like lose things in your bag and you like search down inside of it and it just gets really terrible. So duffel bag is amazing a style like this. And it, this is a 40 liter. So 40 liter is the lightest we've packed um, and uh, it, we just find it to be a perfect weight um, bag. So I used this in China for two weeks and it was just incredible when you don't overpack it and it just, it's just a, kind of the perfect weight. So let's go through some of the things that I think you need to pack and um, kind, of, kind of the minimalistic packing style that I like. So I've got one t-shirt. So just a regular t-shirt for exercise and kind of uh, walking around the city. For the, uh, but for the, for, uh, the Middle East, I like uh, the short sleeve button up shirts. I think it helps you fit in a, a lot better as long as you have like kind of longer hair for a guy and a beard and the button up shirts kind of helps you fit into the culture. They're lightweight and they work really well with, with the uh, temperature there. So I've got two shirts. Um, then I've got one pair of long pants that zip off. I, I found these to be really helpful. So if we do any trekking, you can just you can just zip the pants off, and then you have and then you have um, well it, for trekking you could have them as long pants or you could you could unzip them and have them as as shorts if you need to. Then just another pair of shorts. These are lightweight. If I was going to go swimming, I could use these for swimming as well as uh, walking around. So just two pair of uh, technically two pair of shorts, one that can turn into a long pair of pants. I have one pair of socks because um, I'm going to be using sandals along the trip. So I have one pair of socks to go with my shoes for the days that I need uh, to use socks. You can always wash these in the sink and if you need an extra pair, you can always buy them locally. So you don't really need to overload your, your bag with extra clothes. Uh, I have three pair of underwear that are easily washable in the sink and lightweight and they dry really quick. So that's perfect. So I have three pair of underwear and then I have a towel. And this is a pretty lightweight towel. It's a really light, it soaks up a lot of water uh, really easily. So it's like a really good, good towel. And I like to take that with me. If you don't like that, you can always kind of trust hotels to have them. But I always found having a, a towel is really helpful. Okay, other clothes. Um, I always like having, having a hat. So this is just kind of a really lightweight North Face hat. It, it's collapsible, just helps with, with, the, with the sun or if the wind is really windy that day and you have longer hair, hats are, hats are amazing. Um, okay, what else do I pack? So then just a few things will kind of jump around to different things. So I've got some credit cards. Let me tell you, uh, one thing is that we have the Charles Schwab debit card, um, no foreign transaction fees. They're, they're, they actually, well, they charge you the fee and then they reimburse you at the end of each month, um, unlimited. So I've never had to pay any foreign transaction fees. Amazing card. Uh, we've had it now for three and a half years and it's just been I incredible. So there's your debit card. And there's, so we really recommend having a card like that with no uh, ATM fees. I think that's what I meant to say. No foreign transaction fees, but also no ATM fees. And they reimburse the ATM fees at the end of each month. Um, we have the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, which is like the, the most amazing travel card you can have. It is, um, there are no trans, uh, foreign transaction fees at all and uh, triple reward points on like any travel related purchases is awesome. If you want a free card that doesn't have any uh, annual fee. Uh, I recommend the Bank of America, uh, Bank AmeriCard uh, Travel Rewards card. This is a really amazing card. Um, no foreign transaction fees, and it's free. Uh, driver's license, so we can potentially drive overseas if we if we decide to. It's it's really lightweight, just so just bring your license with you. Um, okay, let's look. Of course, passport, passport. Then let's talk about toiletries. So this, this is really important. Um, so I pack a bamboo toothbrush. It's lighter. And if you have to throw it away, it doesn't add to uh, the, uh, 
the kind of landfill problems they have in a lot of other countries. So bamboo toothbrush, really light and also eco-friendly. Then we have packed these, which is really helpful. We have body wash strips. So you all you do, and you can kind of come up close to that, all you do is you put this on your, on your, uh, your washcloth, you add water, and you've got yourself strips uh, for body wash. And they're really, really lightweight. Then we've got shampoo. So same thing, little travel shampoo strips. You put it in your hair, two to three uh, per use. And then pocket laundry wash. So we put this in the sink, you clog the sink, you put one or two strips in, you put your clothes in, and you can do laundry, and it's just super, super lightweight. So this, this is a, the must-have, I think, for lightweight uh, packing. And hand sanitizer, really important. We have spray sanitizer, just works a little bit better for us, and um, just really important for when you go to bathrooms in different places that don't have um, any uh, sinks to wash your hands. And if you just find your hands sticky when you're out and about, just having sanitizer is really important. Uh, same with just a little thing of Kleenex in case there's no toilet paper in the uh, bathroom and anytime you need to blow your nose, just a small lightweight Kleenex is really important. Um, so we're gonna go somewhere hot and I found this to be really helpful. This is optional, it's not super heavy, so it is optional, but it but doesn't take up a lot of space or weight. We have a fan because we're going to places that are really hot. And I, last time we were in Turkey, we just like died because it was 110 degrees everywhere we went. So little fan, you can get rid of this when you get to another cooler climate um, in another another trip, um, but helpful in the in the warm temperature. So then, of course, sunscreen. This is lightweight and just enough. We're not going to overdo it because you can always get more if you need to, but just a little bit of uh, sunscreen to help the, the heat. Um, IBU, really helpful for a myriad of different things. So we have some IBU, but we didn't notice that we didn't pack like a hundred pills because you're not really going to take a hundred pills in a seven week trip, but just enough uh, to get you through um, if you had to take them a lot. So earplugs, I probably overdid the earplugs a little bit, but they're really lightweight. Um, earplugs are super important when you're on the bus, um, if there's loud music, um, in the hotel, if there's ever problems with people being a little bit loud, um, it really helps you have a great night's sleep. And so I totally recommend just some good earplugs. Then um, we're gonna be traveling with a little adapter to help us in the countries we're at. So this is a lightweight one. You can get ones that are really heavy, but we like there's a lightweight one that will help in some of the countries that we're going to for a little ad adapter. Okay. So I we, we, did, we did the weight difference and actually having two lightweight deodorant sticks like this, the travel kind, are lighter than having one big deodorant stick. So it actually makes the most sense to have two lighter ones. And then just when you're done with one, you have the other and then it's, you get rid of uh, uh, even more weight when you throw one away. So really lightweight uh, deodorant. So um, now don't, you don't have to pack an eye mask if you get one on the plane, because usually the international flights will have an eye mask for you. But again, so important when you're on a bus or you are uh, in a hotel room and the, and the blinds aren't very good and it, the sun gets, comes um, out early in the morning, just having, making sure you have a good night's sleep is like really important. So earplugs with a sleeping mask is amazing. I carry, I have my watch. You can use your cell phone if you want. I always like to have a watch. Um, Okay, then we have our visas. So just making sure you have your paperwork to the, for the countries that you're going to. Uh, a little day bag is actually really important. So this is like, a, I think this is a 13 liter day bag. And uh, just when you don't wanna carry your bigger bags around for the day and you're gonna be in a hotel for you know three or four nights, just having a little light, super lightweight day bag um, to go around I think is really helpful. Okay, so now we have, so this is the GoPro, GoPro and charger, and we just take one battery. We don't want to overdo it and have too many batteries, so we just take two with us. We like this little dual uh, head jack, that, so you can put it into your iPad and you can both listen to the same movie or the same music uh, together. We've found that to be really helpful. And then, we, of course, we have headphones and the charger for the iPad and our phone. Okay. What do you call this? Rain cover. This is a rain cover. 
rain cover for your bag. It's really helpful even if it's not raining because it protects your bag. And oftentimes when you throw a bag under the bus or it gets dirty or you're like hiking, it just your bag gets wrecked. So always having a rain cover on it, I think it helps protect your bag. It lasts a little bit longer. And then, and then of course for the rain when that comes. Um, GoPro, amazing. Little charger to put your phone or your iPad in. A little bit of cash. And then we like to couch surf. So when you couch surf, it's kind of fun to bring something from home. So this is optional, but if you do couch surf or you want to meet people and kind of make some meaningful connections and give away some things uh, from your, your native uh, homeland, um, we have little pins from Utah. So these are like Olympic pins from the 2002 Winter Olympics. And just kind of giving them out to some people that we stay with is kind of a, a thank you for letting us stay with them is a nice way of like bringing something to them from your, from your home. But that is optional. Uh, and then of course we have so we have two 64 gigabyte uh, cards to put in our GoPro. So for video and uh, we don't have a computer with us, so we won't be able to like offload them onto anything. So we just have, we have two 64 gigabyte cards to fill up on our trip. Plastic bags are actually really important. You can bring one to five little plastic bags for garbage, for um, your toiletries, for any dirty laundry. It's all really helpful. So we have some plastic bags. And then this is an iPad Pro. And it's kind of like a perfect, like if you want just enough size to have a nice movie on a plane or on a bus, uh, but not have the weight of a laptop, the iPad Pro is pretty sweet. I don't take it in a protected case because that's extra weight. So just be careful or get a case that maybe uh, lightweight, but just just a simple iPad Pro. We download like a music playlist and um, all the important apps, reading material, anything we need. We have Lonely Planet guidebook on here in case we need to use some references uh, for the countries we're going to. So really easy and um, it, it's just not as heavy as, as a laptop. So that is, that's all we have, right? That's it. My phone, oh, my jacket. My wife's helping me. Um, so this is a really awesome jacket because it can be used in like 50 degree temperature and still be enough to keep you decently warm and also can be used up to like 70 degrees and even 75 if there was a wind chill. It's a really nice down jacket. And the cool thing about these is they, they scrunch up and they fold into the pocket so they're really, really small. This is like a lifesaver on a cold bus, uh, on a windy day. One of those days you just have a... a you know, like you may go to a hot climate, but then have one day where the temperature is really crappy and this is just perfect. So definitely recommend a, a, a very lightweight down jacket uh, for those reasons. And then of course we're bringing a cell phone. So we'll have our cell phone. So that is all that we pack. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack the bag and then we're gonna go ahead and see how much this weighs and go, from, go to that point. Okay, so this bag is really nice because it can scrunch down and you can make it really small. So we're going to do that. And this bag can get really small. So right now, this is nothing. Like this, this weighs absolutely nothing. I could walk for 10 hours with this on my bag without my back getting sore. So we really feel like this is kind of like the really the, the, the minimum weight that you want to have. I could even guess how much this weighs. Maybe this weighs like, like seven pounds, eight pounds. Like it really feels light. I'm not totally sure. It could be a little bit heavier, but it feels so light. And then once you put the buckle in and you put some of the weight on your hips and you tighten those, like there's absolutely nothing. I don't feel any pressure whatsoever on my shoulders. So absolutely unbelievable. This is what we recommend. It's taken us 30 countries. We in 2017, we traveled for six and a half months. And then in 2016, we traveled for, for eight, seven and a half weeks. 
And with that time, it's just really taught us a lot about traveling really light. You will be so happy if you can walk everywhere you go with a really light backpack. So there you go. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and write them. And if you have any questions about credit cards or any travel cards, just uh, send a message. Oh, what's going on? You need to turn and show the bag. That's the bag. And I'm really happy.